We'll get through these four years. We'll both make millions. Maybe some things aren't worth the money. Anything is worth the money. That's why we're here. Let's just get through this. Joining me now to discuss the final four episodes of season one of Tyler Perry's The Oval on BET is Ed Quinn and K. Ron Moore. Good morning. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Hey, Jeff. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Final four episodes of The Oval. Uh, is there going to be plenty of lies, cheating, and, and chaos behind closed doors for the fans? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be... Chaos. Yeah. I mean, I really feel like the, the show really settles into its own in the second half of the season. So, um, yeah, these last uh, last 13 episodes are going to be, uh, be quite a roller coaster. Kron playing the first lady. Uh, your performance is pretty intense, but you're nothing like that. You're pretty laid back. You're a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, playing Victoria is, is a lot of fun because her, her persona is completely opposite mine. So I get to do and say all of the things that maybe I may have wanted to and say maybe in a dream once I don't know but but she, she's a lot of fun to play she's really volatile and it's interesting when people meet me they uh, are very surprised that they're not meeting Victoria Franklin that they're actually meeting uh, my, my personal self um, but she's she's a lot of fun to play uh, I've never played the role of what would be considered a villainous before and so it's been really interesting delving into her. And Ed, it must be satisfying for an actor for the first season of The Oval, getting such strong ratings. It must be really satisfying. You know, it, it's satisfying. It's also a relief. You know, I mean, let's, let's be honest. There's a reason that Tyler Perry's name is in the, uh, in the title, and that's because this is a Tyler Perry production. He comes with such an incredibly loyal, passionate uh, audience that... When you end up, you know, this was just such an unbelievable, it was like we won the lottery, the timing, you know, I mean, the, the grand opening of the new studios, the, um, the, the, his partnership, him coming home to BET, and then launching this, you know, incredibly ambitious show where he built, a, you know, a, he built a, a scale model of the White House. I mean, it's, it's a functioning White House, three stories, massive, everything to scale. And so, you know, you, when you have all of that given to you before you know production even starts, it just makes you that much more hungry. I mean, I, I'm I'm so proud that we're the number one new show on cable, but not even nearly satisfied yet. And I mean, I think I speak for everybody in the cast, and I know I speak for Tyler that we're just going to keep working hard, keep promoting the show, keep delivering crazy episodes every week, and hopefully build this into an absolute juggernaut. So I heard that Tyler Perry gave you all 25 scripts for the first season of The Oval and shot it in 22 weeks. That's just incredibly insane. I've, I've never insane. experienced anything like it. I've done a few hundred episodes of television, but um, you know, he's 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 jumped the matrix. He understands what he's doing, and it's it's a lot, but it's also an incredible challenge. And Kay Ron, where were you when you heard The Oval had been renewed for season two? Ooh, I was. Um, ooh, where was I? I think I was in, I think I was in LA in a hotel room somewhere. Yeah, and I tell I I am so excited that we've been renewed. It's it's this has been an amazing opportunity. It's been an amazing experience. I get to work with incredible people, talented people. Um, Tyler Perry has been uh, a, a huge influence on my life. Um, he's been a mentor to me. And uh, what he's offered us has been invaluable. So I'm really excited to be a part of this project. Now, the rumor has it that Tyler Perry is going to begin season two with a limited crew at his own studios in Atlanta. Well, Tyler Perry's crew is very different. Tyler Perry's crew is basically family. I mean, they've been with him for 15 years now. And in trying to figure out the next step, how we're going to move forward, um, I, you know, I, I'm, it's pretty obvious he's probably going to be tip of the spear, owning his own studio, being able to quarantine, cast and crew and the kind of family that he's built there at Tyler Perry Studios where everyone wants to get back to work. Everyone wants to make the sacrifices needed to, to start production again. And, you know, if that means limiting the crew, you know, limiting, I mean, we're all going to have to quarantine to go back to work and everybody is a hundred percent in and um, it's a real, 
you know, it, it, it's, it's an incredible sense of pride. It's an incredible testament to what he's built there in Atlanta. Other than the ordinary fans, have you heard from any politicians that are fans of the show? I haven't. Have you, Ed? <laughs> uh, no, I, I haven't. I don't really hang out with politicians. So, I mean, you know, I, I, it's not like I have Gavin Newsom tweeting at me or anything. So, um, but, um, you know, if I do, I will come back and I'll tell you first because that would be pretty funny. Yeah. That would be a great scoop. So make sure you come and visit us in Las Vegas when we reopen. We'd love to have you. I'm supposed Thanks to so be there for the grand opening. My Oakland Raiders, you stole my Oakland Raiders, and my Cal Golden Bears are supposed to open that new stadium against UNLV Labor Day weekend. So let's all say a, a, a prayer to the football gods that, that, all, uh, that all comes to fruition. Yes, 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 the football gods. I'll say a prayer <laughs> to them too. Thank you both for joining me today. All right, man. Cheers. All right, you can catch the final four episodes of Tyler Perry's The Oval on BET. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>